As you've probably noticed, I don't normally comment on reporting that other news outlets do, but today I ran across one of the weirdest headlines I have seen in a long time. Let me just read this out to you. There are only three EV plugs for every 10,000 Americans, a disparity threatening automakers $1.2 trillion investment. This was on Business Insider, and I redacted the author's name here because generally the way news outlets work, this person didn't have any input on the headline of this article. And who knows, they may not have necessarily had too much impact on the way that the article was formatted. But the logic of this is simply astounding. Three plugs for every 10,000 Americans. Let that sink in for a moment and then think about what's wrong with that. For those of you that have realized the flaw in the logic, congratulations, hit that subscribe button and scoot on over to another video. For the rest of you, let's dive into those numbers because this is the problem. Three plugs for every 10,000 Americans in the United States. This is public plugs, of course. Well, not everybody owns an EV, if you hadn't noticed already. There are 332 million Americans in the United States. Only 233 million of those people actually have a driver's license. And the number of people that own a car is even lower than that, although the US government doesn't keep an official statistic on that one. But we know that there are only 2.5 to 3 million anythings with a plug in the United States. And that includes full battery electric vehicles like this brand new Mercedes-Benz EQE right next to me and plug-in hybrids like the Volvo S60 plug-in hybrid that we're testing on the other side of the driveway. So only 3 million of those things around. 150,000 public charging plugs according to the Department of Energy. So really that is not that big of a disparity. And when you consider the fact that 85 to 90 percent of all charging happens, guess what, at home, where do you think those two and a half to three million EVs are generally charging? They're charging at the not public plug at home. So that math actually ends up being 2.5 million charge points for the three million EVs in the United States. Or in other words, yes, three public charging plugs for every 10,000 Americans in the United States, but one charging plug for every like 1.2 electric cars that actually exist in the US and are driving around the streets. This has been my continual complaint with the claims that charging infrastructure is the biggest barrier to EV adoption. I actually think that vehicles like this EQE, oddly enough, are the bigger barrier to EV adoption. It is definitely desirable for the people that want an EV. I would love to own an EQE, but this one is $109,000. Affordability is a big impediment to EV penetration in the United States. Desirability is the second biggest impediment to the United States adoption of EVs. You have to want an EV in order to even be interested in checking one out, let alone actually buying one. And if you're an anti-EV person, no slim, sexy EV, no public charging plug anywhere is going to convince you that maybe you should buy a Mercedes-Benz EQE instead of, I don't know, your next Silverado pickup truck or a Mercedes-Benz E-Class, which they also sell right on the same lot next to this. And a lot more people are wanting Mercedes-Benz E-Classes in the United States at the moment than are wanting EQEs. Public charging infrastructure, that's logically a relatively low item on the totem pole. When you take a look at who's buying EVs in America, they're by and large homeowners. In fact, new cars generally purchased in the United States very high percentage of home ownership. According to Cox Automotive and some other research out there, over 90% of all new car buyers, whether we're talking about a Nissan Versa or a $100,000 Mercedes-Benz, they're being purchased by homeowners. Guess what? They own a home where they could put an EVSC and charge it at home. Charging infrastructure, absolutely not a problem. Unless you're road tripping, not that many people road trip, and if you want a road trip, you have other options at the moment. So logically, you could have massive EV adoption in the United States without ever truly worrying about the three public charging plugs for every 10,000 Americans in the United States. And until toddlers start driving, that's just a really weird way of thinking about charging infrastructure to begin with. I'll see all of you next week.